to like the streaming actually uh, works but for some reason I cannot start recording with my own computer anyways hopefully this won't be a problem in the game so welcome back to the UFO game and so last we left off we were at this uh, crash site of a battleship and we are trying to kill aliens using our rookies and our tanks and you can see that we have the android there and we have another android we already killed one android so let's let time pass A lot of alien movement. So this tank was shot at by this alien over there, but whatever. So we also wanted to check out what the hell is going on with this guy who collapsed. Yeah, it's not good. So he is there, he got some fatal wounds, but he recovered. He will be probably yeah, going back to the ship or what is the airplane very soon. Okay, let's um, move a little closer. Can we discover new aliens? Okay, so there is this alien over there. Can we aim there? Yeah, but so these aliens are very sturdy when it comes to being shot at. They are mostly da only damaged by fire, so that's they were already he was already on fire, so that's how he succumbed to the power of the laser sniper rifle. Because this alien is dead, and this is where the spacecraft is. We need to move our tank in a position where we can use it to spot enemies before our soldiers. tank absorbs the damage and the rookies can just try to shoot aliens from safe distance which is uh, good for their um, well the further carriers I guess Them. Well, if they shoot an alien, that will help them to acquire higher stats. Okay. The tank cannot go in there, which means we need destroy some bushes around here. 
Great. Now the thing can move through. Okay, that's also quite good. Okay, let's uh, increase our coverage, the smoke cover. trees are burning but they won't die they won't disappear due to the fire I guess okay so you should uh, pick your stuff stuff up sometime in the future I guess. This is gonna be bloody, but as far as I can see here, these uh, engines of this spacecraft are not damaged, so that means that probably a lot of the aliens that came on this spacecraft are still alive, but also if we manage to kill all of them, which would require miracles actually, but whatever. If we, for some reason, manage to clear this spacecraft from aliens, we could probably get a lot of uh, stuff, alarium mostly. Alarium is very good. Okay, let's see what are the aliens gonna do. Yeah. Well, we did not get to see any of that. But we also don't see yet more aliens around that area. Neither here nor there. Yes. Well, that's a bad sign over here. <laughs> Actually. Oh, maybe it's from the fire we caused. Uh, I'm not sure because the thing is that so some aliens like the overlords will burn the ground over beneath their feet. And so the problem with overlords is that there is a very specific way of killing them, which includes ballistic weapons. And so... Who has the ballistic weapons? That's what we have to figure out. You. Is it literally just one guy? No, it is two guys actually. So even though you are horribly dan um, dam uh, what, injured, as what the word is, not that we use for humans, <laughs> I cannot let you go back to the and you also, I cannot let you stand in the fire, you dumb soldier.
We are not well prepared for the overlord threat. That's the point I'm trying to make there. This guy is the only one with a alloy shotgun, which is uh, one of the best weapons to fight overlords, but serious drawback is that you have to go very close for this to work properly. Using this launcher with the uh, uh, with the what is it? Alloy bomb is also an option, not really a good option. I might add. Anyways, let's just pretend everything is fine. And the rocket launcher might be needed if we encounter more androids. So... Let's see, what are the aliens up to? Oh, too many things. Uh, they are doing too many things at the same time. So... Yeah, I have to click, sorry. Oh, I didn't have to click, I just had to rotate my mouse button. Okay, so thank. We'll go in and check the inside of this spacecraft. Oh! No! These three seem damaged. Okay, just... Let's, uh... Position our soldiers... Around... These doors. So we can kill Lillians. What seems like is that these three engines blew up, but the explosion did not damage the structure of this, like the outside walls, which is good because at least there is only one entrance to the alien spacecraft, so we don't have to worry about the aliens coming out somewhere else and, you know, stabbing us in the back. But also, we can only enter that one exact place. Which can be a problem. Okay, I should... Allow you. you just have to run. Because you won't stay... Uh, conscious for so long in the um, smoke. And do we have any soldiers left behind or somewhere around? Yeah, we don't. Okay, let's uh, see. Aliens, 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 everywhere. Well, we don't know where. So, tank. Goes up. Oh. There is a hole there. But that hole is, leads to the inside. Okay. Okay, dudes.
can see an alien over there. So we take cover somewhere else. You have to get out of the smoke very soon. Like right friggin' now. You on the other hand. And you will be standing here to see if anything happens over there. And you people. Well, stay outside. Big guys, big guys with the big guns and the, well, not big everyone has big guns, but the guys with the tough shields are covering the outside. Okay, let's send this turn. Let's see the alien coming up and kill everybody. Oh, damn! What did just happen here? Okay, this guy here We know that there is an alien downstairs who <laughs> shot another hole here Can you actually... This is going to be weird, but what I'm going to do is just... Move these soldiers... Over here. And this guy... Put this down, and how far can you go? Is the question. Not too far, so it will probably be on fire. My problem is that if I shoot here with a tank, I will <laughs> miss and kill her. 
So I want. But I will prepare this guy to have another flaming solution, and this guy too. And you too will have primed incendiary grenades for fun. Okay, let's end this turn. Okay, so this guy is on fire. Old girl, rather. And has been killed. Question is... Did this alien get damaged enough so that we can hit it? Well, we cannot hit it. <laughs> Seems like. And that. Yeah, that's what I should have done before I moved my soldier to s her certain death. Okay, so no one's here. Does anyone have an alien grenade around here? Well, actually no one has an alien grenade around here, so... Welcome around this area and we'll try to cover our backs. You have a no you don't have an alien who does have an alien? You have an alien okay you will have this alien grenade armed in the next turn. So you Okay, let's see, is there anything else? There is an alien right down there. Will you die if you shoot at him? Okay, you don't die. That's good. Can you also try to... Okay, so now I don't know what it is. Alien can be. What kind of alien is that? Now it's time to take a look around this area too while we try to do something about that part. We 
We don't... We don't know what's going on there, so... Okay... Let's end this door now. Damn! Get up. I said get up. Oh no! Overlord! chance so what there's an alien over there too okay salvage also no one here has the proper weapons for dealing with the overlord but we need to lure the overlord here somehow so I can use these guys. To kill it next turn. Okay, the overlord. Oh damn, there's another alien up there. to shoot an aim shot and the snapshot has very low chances of hitting so I guess that's not gonna work oh come on
Let me throw this right over there somehow. Can you throw it over there, please? Okay, now get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there, please! And we kill the overlord just by pumping plasma in it. It usually does not work. Okay. Let's end this turn. Okay, so there is a hole and the alien fell down that hole. Great, and now you cannot get out of there. Okay. I guess just stay there. Oh, what the hell are we even supposed to do here? Maybe we can shoot a hole in the <laughs> hole Maybe not. Oh, come on. Job. Okay. Yeah, that was also a great job. Yeah, you just run the hell out of there. You throw the grenade over there. And you cannot shoot it. Okay, so... Aimed shot. What the f-
what can any of these guys do here? Nothing. What can any of these guys do? They are still also nothing. The rocket launcher. Just go in there. Alien grenade. It's probably the least useful thing out of all of the. Oh, you also have. can use actually. Yeah, this is rough. Only the two snipers are outside, okay. What a useless soldier. We have no idea. Oh, damn. There's actually an alien up there. That one over there. Okay, that one's dealt with. So I guess you can get the hell out of there. Yeah, just get the hell out of there. Bye. Definitely come down from there.
this is the perfect position for the rocket launcher. Yes. Damn. Yeah, there is a big problem. And that is that we have a dead soldier. But a dead soldier. Who had armed grenades? And you don't want to stand to be there when that armed alien grenade goes off. Okay. We still have not taken care of the alien that's down there. And we also know that there is an alien up there. Land the name No. That's a shame. Let's try again. Okay, then let's just try a snapshot. Let's also throw the grenade over. Mind getting shot at by a plasma weapon from close distance. Yeah, it seems like he mind. He did not mind that much. Did not voice a complaint about it. To the best of my knowledge, there is one more alien to get rid of over there. One alien died, 
due to the fire. Some fatal wound, I heard it collapse. Oh, there is someone in the chat. Yeah, this is old school XCOM. Gives uh, everyone chills. <laughs> this is the game. If you want to get chills. Where? Oh, the surprise attack from somewhere. Oh, there you are. Goddamn android. Okay, let's prime this baby. So let's just try... So one alien, one android have just died. So this is... Red Crusader in the chat. Seems like uh, not familiar with the uh, Area 51 mod of the XCOM. So this is actually not the original XCOM game. This is uh, OpenXCOM, which is an open source 3 implementation of the game. And this is modded. And there was an android, a phaser android. So there is some techno babble about phasing in and out of our reality. So you cannot just shoot at it and kill it. You need very to be very lucky to damage it with stuff like plasma or laser or just com or any kind of weaponry the only thing that can damage them significantly is fire so oh what yeah you seem like you did not like what happened here So what is that alien, the red one? I did not recognize that alien, but it carried a blaster launcher. Seems like. So uh, the thing is that uh, the OpenXCOM, which is uh, the uh, this open source uh, version of the game, basically a remake, a perfect remake almost, is very easy to mod and there is this guy who created this uh, Area 51 mod that adds a lot of new story elements, new aliens, etc. to the game. Yeah, you want to be healed too, so... Okay, let's uh, fire a rocket over there. And then I'll let you to pick up the medikit. Heal that soldier and run away to take cover. And so a lot of people modded this game with different aliens and different terrains and a lot of things like that, like uh, other kind of like other UFO types and such. And so this uh, Area 51 mod is kind of a lot of original ideas from the creator of this mod, but also a lot of original content story-wise. Yeah, so our tank is very robust against this alien. And 
and this alien is also very robust against our tank. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah, this is not a good angle. Uh, but if I let you do an auto shot, you won't have enough. Uh, I'm stupid. Let's just fire the laser minigun, which is a stupid concept, but come on, this is a game. <laughs> Okay, that alien is just super sturdy and does not feel like dying. And the only rocket we have left is a large rocket and uh, let's uh, just prime this since in the are grenade too, in case we need it. Okay, so these guys can come around here. And so we are 54 minutes in this uh, round, this mission. <laughs> so I will leave very soon. Yeah, waste all your time units on this tank, please. Hello. Wow. This was really bad. Good shot against that alien, which is... Yeah, and the, in this version, if you're, there is something in the way so you cannot shoot, the game highlights that object. Oh, come on. Like, if I wanted to, like, throw this grenade there, I, I cannot really do that. And they will like blink the uh, objects that are in the way. What do we have here? Mutant Commander! Oh, and the Blaster Launcher, of course. Blaster launcher. Someone will need to use that. Oh, come on. Okay, that alien just died. And mission accomplished. UFO is recovered. Really good. We got 50 alarium and one power source. That definitely worth losing four soldiers. We only lost four soldiers. That's really good with a big band of rookies, basically. What's our stats? Look at this. Everyone gets some improvement, except for Gavaria Todorov. <laughs> Mostly time units, strength, and accuracy, and... What is this? No, this is strength. This is stamina. Oh, someone gets seven stamina. And six additional strength. Excellent. Storage space exceeded. So we have to 
threw stuff out, like alien entertainment, we don't need that. UFO navigation is just, we don't need that many. We don't need the alien corpses. Mutant corpse, gazer corpse. We can sell a few heavy plasmas and some heavy plasma clips too. We don't really need that many of this weapon. And we don't really use it that much that we would need like this many clips for that. Okay, let's make some money. <laughs> $2,800,000. And we don't have enough plasma blaster clip and smoke grenade. We got a lot of promotions and we got four dead rookies. Which means that our second base will recruit four soldiers. And we need a lot of smoke grenades. We use them. We use them often. Incendiary grenades. Okay. Let's purchase these things and also let's sell some more stuff so we can make up some space. Alien alloys. We got a lot of alien alloys. We need to manufacture... We don't have any workshop available. So once this tank is finished, we will need to manufacture... Oh, plasma defense. They provide powerful and efficient protection against incursion by hostile craft. What can we research? Fusion defense. Let's do that. Construction of hyperwave decoder at radar, radar station is complete. Great. So this is only a radar station I built. This... What should I... Should I build something around here? I should build actually defense here. Uh, what was that? Plasma defense. Because in this space we only have rookies. <laughs> what about this one? No, soldiers, where are you? Ah, yeah, soldiers. What am I doing? Sol what? Come on! Soldiers. Yeah, we have some better soldiers here, but... We should also... Have some defenses here. We cannot really build defenses here in a good place. Uh, okay. So manufacturing, five hours left. Okay, so let's uh, make ammunition, um, and that's gonna be plasma blaster clip. All remaining engineers, make me. 30 of that. And now I can actually equip my Avenger with this. Oh, we don't have. Oh, crap. I will need to manufacture ammunition for that tank. Which is a bummer. Let's just first manufacture 10 clips. And then I will work with the other things. But now, it's been more than an hour in this game. So it is time for me to save this game and uh, go away. And I will be back sometime in the future 
uh, if the coronavirus outbreak <laughs> gets worse and I get confined at home I will stream more <laughs> but hopefully that won't happen and then I will be back next week or two weeks later whenever I have some time to play this game again and I well stay around I will definitely upload more videos for like tutorials and Linux and open software op and op free software and open source related stuff subscribe to the channel and check the playlist for this whole story of the game and I'll be back sometime bye bye